Oh, excellent. Okay, you were saying in, yeah. in, the, in the last episode that prob was probably posted like five days ago. So hopefully everybody yes. remembers the conversation. Exactly. Uh, Secret Empire, though, just that's that's a it's a mess and a half. I'm ready for the trash like, fire to be put I'm, I'm always I'm always sort of following it. I'm just happy that Spencer's back in the game. That's all I cared about. Even if he doesn't have his bionic, bionic arm anymore? Well, you know, they have to lower the god to the levels of the mortals, so... <laughs> I guess Do that's one way you could put it. Doing a super? Yeah, not anymore. Hmm. Well, that was, uh, weird. Did, did the versus screen, like, come up in slow motion for you two just now? Yeah, the, it's it's really choppy when it comes to uh, the versus screen because I'm guessing it's loading really heavily. Yes. How do and you? Then it still takes a whole another five to ten seconds to load after that. How are you feeling about the whole uh, down down inputs? I'm weirded out, but I'll deal. Fight. Marvel like, is always going to be a simplified game, so you know I'm okay with that. So, suddenly we're playing Melty, which is fine. Wait, what the fuck did I have for this stage? I can't tell. Oh. I can't really hear the music. I know it's there, but oh. I don't know what it is. Okay. What did you do? Actually, pick separate music for every stage. Yeah. I actually did don't. Did they have I... a thing where you could download the music, except different music? In tag two, they did. Oh. But but in, but in this, like it all, it's all there to start with. Oh, I need to actually check on that then. It's Go nice. There, put like all tech and three music. I've got a pretty good variety of. Uh... Mm -hmm variety of music. Most of it's from like one, two, or three, but Yeah. Let's see. There was most most of the music that I that 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 hits a that strokes a nerve with me, that hits a chord with me from Tekken is from Tekken three. That was that was my game pretty much. That was For that me. was when I the point at which I actually under started to understand the game and it actually Not today. Some, oh wow that actually worked. It actually had some resonance for me. For me, it was two. Yeah, I mean, I I played Tekken one, I played Tekken two, but three was the point at which I actually started to understand how to play these games in the first place. Three is I, the one that I put, that I owned and played to death, so that's 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 the one for me. It's not gonna work. I think there's a little bit too much startup on that one. Yeah, Master Raven is uh is weird. Kung Fu. I haven't really worked around yet. <laughs> yeah, I think for right now I have the uh, the arcade version of the Tekken 2 character select music playing. Ooh. See, that that I actually remember. Was that the one that was like, down, down, da down, 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 Yep. Yep. And I've got the, uh, the, P the PlayStation version playing for my character select music. Nice. Man, the default costumes are really lame. In in a lot of cases, like the variety of them, more 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 specifically. Some of them are very bizarre. Yeah. Like there was a vague like, story. Yeah, yeah, there was a, there was a vague story reason for that, but it was basically just like, yeah, we just want to put Nina in a wedding dress. Yeah, like, but see, the w one thing that gets me is they put her in a out different outfit in story mode, and I haven't for the life of me figured out if that if that costume even exists outside of story mode. If it doesn't, that makes no sense whatsoever. I this is actually like the best costume she's ever had. I think it does. Mm -hmm. I haven't found it yet. I've been playing a lot of treasure mode trying to customize characters. Yeah, if it showed up, it would probably be in the uh, in the customization options to begin with. Because I know there's a couple that you can use use to start with. Yeah, but it's not it's not in her default set, and it's not one you can purchase. So I don't know what's going on there. 
Fucking Lars in his hair, Jesus. <laughs> like, I, I am thoroughly convinced that Heihachi's jeans are like, that's what, ha what causes that kind of hair. What, the electricity? No, I mean, just Heihachi's jeans cause that kind of wacky ass anime hair. <laughs> There's there's no other way other other explanation. <laughs> Kazuya's got it. Jen's got it. Well, to be fair, they all have electricity too, so that that would make sense also. I don't I don't know. I don't think electricity has anything to do with it. I think it's just genetically that way. Mm -hmm. Well, what I mean is, it's actually unique to them, for the most part. I remember the only time I've ever seen anybody's hair down is uh, in unrelated spin-off media. They kind of, sort of, in the tech and OVA, kind of imply that Kazuya's hair isn't naturally like that, but... Because <laughs> he gets knocked into I don't some... Know, I, I choose not to remember the uh, OVA, because I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't, didn't particularly care for it. I like the, like the, the voices they had for it. I'm I'm sad that those to be honest, guys. I kind of don't remember most of it. I just remember I didn't like it. I'm sad that those those guys aren't really in the business. The last thing I remember hearing them in is uh in was uh a fist of the North Star dub. I admit I'm not as up to uh, as up on most voice acting as I probably should be. I haven't really I heard a few few specific ones. I haven't really heard anything about that big voice actor strike other than it's still going on apparently. Yeah, what the heck? And apparently I mentioned it to Matt the other day, but Allison Court isn't going to be back for the uh, Resident Evil 2 remake. What did she do? She was uh, Claire. Oh. Well, that's a shame. The lady who voiced Jubilee in the X Men cartoon. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, I, figured I know that I, one. <laughs> I figured I'd have to put that in uh, perspective. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. I suppose I'd probably explain why I haven't heard like Troy Baker in fucking forever. <laughs> Which also to me, right. su it kind of suggests that. Mm -hmm. It kind of suggests that Tekken 7's, all of Tekken 7's story dialogue was done well before the game came out, because that strike didn't start until, like, last year. Yeah. That would make sense. Anyway, what were you going to say? You were going to say something. Yeah, like, by the it. way, this game was being made for three years, and they have a story mode that only includes about three or four characters and doesn't cover any of them at all. I'll just get these little character episodes for everybody else. Fight. One fight, and that's all you get. Which is still more than anybody in Soul Calibur V got, I guess. Yeah. Baby steps. I'm still surprised there hasn't been, like, a Soul Calibur V, like, we're sorry we fucked up the first go-around edition. Well, it was apparently a miracle that we got the first one in the first place. Like, they clearly were not intending on making another game. And then some dude just kind of championed it at Namco. And then we were kind of left in a position where we're probably not going to get another Soul Calibur game for a while. Yeah. In a position we justifiably rather not be in. So we kind of went from, uh... We just kind of delayed the inevitable, really. That, that's what happened. Hmm. Yep, Soul Calibur V had its cup of coffee in the big time. They just need to go back to like the uh, Soul Soul Blade model. I want I want Soul, Edge. Oh yeah. I want Edge Master Mode, but like to be really good again. I don't know, man. The last time they did that was uh, Soul Calibur 3, wasn't it? Kind of. Really? That was like half of the game. Well, oh, Chronicles Chron Chronicles of the Soul was kind of the thing, I think. It, that was their big mode. 
Yep. I mean, they had, like, the, the, the prompts for arcade mode like the original did, but it, they were basically... I rather enjoyed that. They were basically the same for everybody, though. There were a few that were different, but yeah. But that's just like the first one. There were only a few that had really elaborate differences. Well, most most of the ending most of the endings were pretty different. Nope. They were also hilariously non-canon. Yeah, there there was one canon ending and then one pretty pretty non-canon one. Because I remember uh, Valdo's uh, special ending. Where, where he, he just basically rubs, rubs the sword, the sword until to it death. breaks. Which, like, what the hell? And the best part is you can keep that going for as long as you want. For yes. no, no reason. I just... It just, it's just no, it's just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. And then, like, all of a sudden it breaks. And Voldo! It's like... Um, what the fuck, dude? I told you to go get the sword. Not break the sword, too. Right. I, I was gonna pick Yoshimitsu, and then I was just like, nah, I'm not gonna pick Yoshimitsu. They need to fucking settle their shit down with Yoshimitsu, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, what's with the different outfits every game that just, they get more and more ridiculous? Now I'm a squid! Before I was a kid, but now I am the squid. <laughs> I had the same thought in my head, I'm like, I, I could do a Splatoon thing there. So I, I take it from the sounds of it, you're kind of interested in a Switch now? Mm, kind of, sort of. I'm, I'm at least paying attention to it, whereas for the last couple of generations, I haven't really paid attention to it. Get you some, uh, some fancy-ass Amazing Zelda experience, finally. I'm not convinced I'd actually enjoy it, because... Um, I look at Zelda, first of all I've never been that big in Zelda just to begin with like I, I I don't hate them but I can't I can't finish them I can't get into them and I then I think about a game like Skyrim which has a gigantic open world with all this stuff to do and I've never really gotten into those either so I think I would have fun with it but I also think that I would ADD away with it from it in like a week and not ever play it again yeah, it's possible. It, it could be. So like the, there's nothing against it. I just don't want to waste my money and my time. It could be the big deal breaker. Yeah, because me, like I said, like I said, this is this is specifically to me because I, I I in no way want to take away from that game. For by all accounts and by everything I've seen, it's a pretty cool game. Um, but it's just I don't think it was going to work for me. I envy people who can who can stick to a game like that for that long. Usually, it's that that kind of thing is not my bag, but that reminds me. What do you? How are you feeling about uh, the premise of Anthem? It's interesting. I want to see more. I'm withholding judgment. This isn't gonna work. Correct. I feel like I've gotten pretty good at predicting that. Yeah, that, that which doesn't explain why I keep doing it, but at least I know when I did something if it's not going to work or not. It's like, I am 100% ready for any kind of game that lets me fucking fly around freely. So I believe very much in the premise of it. Yeah, yeah, definitely uh, like that idea. I want to believe. Of course, I would have also liked an actual Mass Effect game that didn't wasn't a mess, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Because well, that's where all the people who would know me would have been working on that game were working on, so... Well, you'll, you'll get another Mass Effect game in, like, uh, three, four Ten years. Ten years. Maybe. If that. Because they just said it's shell. They are... Reevaluating the There's going to be more of another one or any continuation is if there's actual genuine interest, and I think they've kind of killed that at this point. They're reevaluating it. Oh, no. Uh, 
Fucking laser beams. <laughs> Fucking lasers, how do they work? How does that even work? Doesn't even look like Kazi was holding him by like his neck. Like it, he, I'm sure he was supposed to be. Yeah, that was just badly positioned. He's got like a handful of King's chest. <laughs> holding hold him by his chest hair. Using claws. <laughs> Give him the claw. <laughs> There's nobody who uses a nerve hold now, I've noticed. That that, that idea's kinda gone by the wayside. Wasn't it wait, you mean in Tekken? No, I mean in, in wrestling. I just wanna I wanted to be clear on that. <laughs> yeah. Because you had Santino, which he didn't really do a claw move, he just had this thing His goofy would, little hold thing. Yeah, like he would take out this sock with the had the had a cobra design on it put it on his hand and like poke his hand in certain spots and he'd make a little cobra out of his hand and basically anybody who got hit by this thing was either paralyzed or completely dead from confusion mostly most likely um the only, only other person i could think of that had had anything like that recently is mick foley which they had a royal rumble with santina and mick foley where they 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 went Mr. Sacco versus the Cobra. <laughs> ah, dude love. And and it's okay when that when that kind of stuff happens. Like I don't have any problem with that. Uh oh. Oh there we go. Screen went black for a second, that was kinda weird. I think some people take take wrestling too seriously and they're not okay with just just nonsense sometimes. And and they really should be. Because wrestling, in and of itself, is absurd. It is. It's supposed there's to no be. no getting around it. Exactly. And there's no getting around that. And holy crap, what am I doing here? I'm really sidetracked by Jin's suspiciously red shoes. They really stand <laughs> out. They do, don't they? It's like, what the fuck, dude? Mm -hmm. That's why you're supposed to wear pants that covers that up. I like that color scheme you've got going. Yep. Pretty much every character that I've been using here is in some way. Every every one of them that has had a custom a custom color scheme is uh, inspired in some way by some character that I've had. All might have been basically just like I like this costume. Yeah, sometimes I do that too, but I tend to like to try to create my characters in these. And it's not as cut and dry as it would be in like a like a straight up character editor, but it's still doable. Sometimes it's just a color scheme change like this, like in this case. Yeah, tech, Tekken kind of favors just like accessorizing. I like that slow motion of not hitting. <laughs> yeah, that's actually one thing I really like about this game. It's a lot more cinematic. <laughs> That one was to tell me you totally fucking beefed it, dude. Yep. Like it's like they they zoom in on the dramatic spots, um, and slow things down, and I kind of like that. I was kind of weirded out by it at first, but I was like, oh yeah, I actually kind of enjoy that. It allows for those esports moments where everybody is uh, cheering. I guarantee you, we're gonna get to Evo. Uh, in, in about, I think it's about a month from now, about 20 days from now. And there's going to be all kinds of hype around that stuff. Probably. That, those, yeah, those cinematic cutscenes are just going to feed into it. Oh, Bob. Just kind of there. Yep. Taking away. And speed! Uh -huh. Like here, here's our cool fat guy again. Yep. We we put too much effort into him to let it go. <laughs> which, which is fine. I like Bob. I'm sure he's got his fans. Yeah, I like he's, Bob. He's charming. They just need to like find an angle that isn't kind of out of place and goofy. Yeah, cause like, oh, he's fighting Brian Fury. Okay. 
for for reasons. Yep. So there's some bullshit going on with the hair colors in this game. Yeah, all the blondes are especially bright. No, it's not even that. Like, all right, so this character here, right, Lucky Koei, mm -hmm. uh, she has all these different hair accessories that she can wear, but they only work with her default hairstyle. Uh, and her default hairstyle uh, can't have its colors changed. The only thing you can change colors on is the uh, the headset. Yeah, which is really weird considering they had a lot more options for Tech and Tag Two. Yeah. Like it's completely absurd. I don't I don't know why they did it that way. Uh oh. Bob <laughs> Oh. I got it backwards. Yeah, that was that was, I'm not really sure why there's they're keeping that angle for Bob, because like they already kind of established that he can do it. Yeah, but he didn't win a tournament yet, so he's got to keep doing that until he wins a tournament, right? I guess. You can't have any change in character whatsoever because he's a B character. How did that work? Hits low. Is it because it was a low hit? Yep. Oh. Wait. Yeah, these things are broken. These <laughs> are so broken. That's just saying. I I can't wait to see what the effect of those rage arts is on the actual game, on the competitive game. It's I admittedly be... haven't watched any of it yet, and I'll probably not bother till Evo. It's gonna be a admit. thing. Yep. Like, do they ban them, or, you know, I, I, don't, I can't imagine they ban them. That seems you, like a little bit too far. Can you even turn them off? I don't know. That's the question. Probably can't. Oh, Bob. His face is really abnormally sh uh, shiny. Also, next time on Bro vs. Bro. More fight. Gundam fight? More speed. And more weight. Yeah, these these episodes are kind of lacking in weight. 